In general terms, an ostomy is a piece of your intestine that's brought to the outside for the most part, but there are several types of ostomies. So the most common are colostomies. Colostomy occurs in the colon, that's where the surgery takes place. An ileostomy occurs in the ileum, which is higher up. Third most common is a urostomy, so that's for bladder. Ostomies are mostly due to an intestinal disease or disorder. Personally, mine is for Crohn's disease. I started um, having really strong symptoms of Crohn's disease at age 14. When I was sick, I was having a lot of fatigue. I couldn't really eat. Tanker sores in my mouth, blood in my stool. It ate me from the mouth to the anus. So I had my first ostomy surgery in 1987 and then the next year I had another one, the next year I had another one, so I just kept losing more and more intestine until finally my disease was at, my, at the anus end, at the bottom end. It's rare to have my journey, as I said earlier, it's the mm -hmm. uh, colostomy, ileostomy, and now I have a jujinostomy. Mm -hmm. can't, I can't fathom how people have 27 feet worth of intestine yeah. in there. I only have three, so it's, mm -hmm. it's, it's a great diet plan. I never, yeah. I never gain weight, so not ever. Definitely for me, at age 19, having this done, I just felt really quite, uh, quite robbed of my body quite honestly. I was in a university and dealing with this and sharing, you know, the residential bathrooms. I used to be afraid to come out of a bathroom stall because I had made such a smell because that's another part of, uh, you know, the ostomy. It's, they can be pretty darn smelly. And my university, you know, kept getting put off and it took me quite a bit longer to, to get my degree and actually I didn't end up finishing. I was like three credits short when I just stopped going to school. It was just too, too difficult. A couple of my surgeries were a year. I was in the hospital for a year, 11 and a half months. And, um, the really kind of the last one I had was 11 and a half months in 1997 and 1998. I was actually at work and I went to the washroom and I had stains on my underwear in three spots. And all of a sudden, they said, told me I just passed out. Hospital ambulance came and got me, and my my intestine had basically just broke right through my my skin. In 2006, I st I went to the Calgary Ostomy Society meeting, and they were talking about this youth camp. So I started hitting the you know hitting the volunteer and awareness really hard. We have the ability to bring in 50 kids for a week. When you first meet a new kid that's, that's their first time coming out there, they're quite apprehensive, quite scared, quite possibly have never talked to anybody else about their ostomy or, or known anybody else like I didn't who, who had um, an ostomy or a similar condition to what they had. Ostomy camp really means a lot to me because it's a place to make new friends that have similar diseases to me or that have ostomies too. All the activities just help us bond with each other. Archery, there's, they have a high ropes course. Um, yeah, it's really fun. Favorite activities would be um, archery, uh, hydro pyro, maybe the, like the mega swing. <laughs> there's a few friends that I actually asked to get their phone numbers. And so I've kind of been chatting with them over, over a while. I feel really comfortable at camp because I know everybody else has something that I have or something similar at least. So I can kind of freely talk about it. Also get advice. The volunteers are amazing. They're, they're really nice. And so if you're having problems with an ostomy or anything else that you have, for ostomy camp, uh, they'll be happy to help you out. If you don't have anyone in your life that you can really talk to, it's it's a really good opportunity because they have 
the same thing almost. You know, it's, it's tough being a kid no matter what. So to have this additional condition on top of your medical condition and then to all of a sudden be amongst a bunch of people who understand you, I just couldn't even believe the first year that I was at camp and everybody was so accepting and so, you know, talking about their ostomies and every time I was starting to feel kind of down about why do I have to have this and stuff. Man, if these kids can, can do it, and you just gotta get over yourself, woman.